Joining me now is NBC White House correspondent Kristen Welker. Uh, Kristen, what do we know about the news conference and what does a national emergency mean? What force does that have? Well, Andrea, we know that President Trump at that 3 p.m. news conference, which he announced just a short time ago, is expected to announce a national emergency. That would essentially trigger the Stafford Act, which would unleash some $40 billion in funds to deal with this growing crisis. Now, this would give aid to not only those who've been impacted by the virus, but for those who are trying to fight the crisis as well. The question though, Andrea, will he unleash that full $40 billion? Will there be a component piece to this? In addition to the president's news conference later today, of course, Andrea, all eyes are on Capitol Hill because we know that they have been negotiating a deal that would also provide aid to those who've been impacted by the virus. I am told based on my conversations that they are close to a deal. They would like to vote on a deal in the House by the end of today. Will that happen? That remains to be seen. But remember, Andrea, the Senate canceled their recess for next week to continue to try to work on this. That relief package that they're working on would include expanding unemployment insurance, expanded food assistance, food aid, as well as covering coronavirus tests and some treatments as well. So this would be a robust package. Again, lawmakers, the White House really working to try to get something done by the end of the day. President Trump, though, taking matters into his own hands. Of course, he has come under criticism for not acting quickly enough and for there not being enough tests. And so today, an attempt to try to do more, Andrea.